Welcome to lesson one of four, covering standard circuit diagram symbols. This is the first in our series of four lessons on the topic current, voltage and resistance. Here are the key learning objectives for this session. First, we will look at circuit symbols and then we will use them to draw and interpret circuit diagrams. Here are the AQA specification points for this tutorial. Pause the video now to have a read through them before we begin. We'll start off by looking at the different symbols used in circuit diagrams. For AQA exams, we need to know the following common circuit symbols. It's a good idea to pause the video here and make a quick note of these symbols. They're from the AQA specification, so you should know them all pretty well. You could be asked to match up the symbols to their names, so make sure to memorise this list. It is also important that you can recognise these symbols in circuit diagrams. Now let's incorporate the symbols we've just learnt into actual circuit diagrams. As well as knowing the different symbols in a circuit, we need to be able to draw circuit diagrams and interpret them. Here, we can see a circuit with a cell, an open switch, a lamp and a cable. This is a fairly basic layout for a circuit. Most circuit diagrams will be in this basic layout. They can include components from the previous section too. When drawing circuit diagrams, there are a few important rules you need to remember. First, always draw cables and wires as straight lines. The wires should never cross over one another. Make sure you use the correct symbols for each part of the circuit. You can make things easier for yourself by learning the list of symbols we showed earlier in the video. Finally, when you finish drawing the circuit, ensure that it forms a closed loop. There should be no breaks in a complete circuit or else it won't work. If you're asked to draw a circuit in the exam, it's easiest to start by drawing the symbols on their own. After you've got all the symbols in place, you can join them together with wires. We've now covered both the learning objectives for this session. If you're unsure about any of the points, feel free to skip back to that section of the video and re-watch it. We've now completed Lesson 1